So you guys have heard of bacon crackers, also known as pig candy. Well, here we here at Duplin, we've duplinized it. And what we're doing, we're gonna take these little piggies for a dip. Put a little bit of our dip right on there. Mm. It's gonna make you squeal like a pig. So we're using the crackers we make here at Duplin and they're kind of rustic, they're different sizes. So what I like to do, I kind of like to measure them a little bit because we want that bacon to hang off the edges. And the reason we want that bacon to hang off the edges is that bacon is gonna shrink as you cook it. So we've got that just a little bit longer than the crackers. So when it's done cooking, it fits that almost perfectly. So we've kind of melted our pepper jelly in the microwave for about 15 seconds. We're just gonna dab it onto that bacon. You just wanna keep it on the bacon. You don't want it falling off the sides too much. All right, we brought home the bacon. These piggies are done. Look at these. I mean, the glaze on there of that pepper jelly, it candied that bacon perfectly. And well, just check this out. I mean, look at this one. Look at that. Look how thick those crackers on top of that, that thick bacon. You know what, we can eat them just like this, but why do it? Let's take some of our famous dip we have here at Duplin. Take these guys for a swim. Dip that right in there. Oh my gosh, yes. All right, guys, cheers. Mm. Oh yeah. Sweet, <laughs> these are good, I'm telling you. Mm. Look at that. You see how thick that cracker is? The saltiness of this bacon, mixed with that pepper jelly. You get a little bit of that peppery taste there, but the sweetness and the salty and savory together is awesome. And then that cracker, that cracker just gives you that texture along with that soft bake. These are great, man. And what I'm gonna tell you right now, you better put some of these to the side because wherever you take them, they're gonna be gone. So if you want some, save some for yourself. Guys, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Until then, I'm Frank and I'm out.